Hi, I'm John Gilstrap, author of the Jonathan Grave Thriller series, and in this episode of A Writer's View of Writing and Publishing, we're going to talk about pitching your book. Uh, every year, there are all kinds of conferences and meetings will feature a, a pitch fest, an opportunity to go and pitch your idea to agents who have signed up to uh, sort of a speed dating thing, but literary agents have signed up to listen to pitches from attending authors. So what I thought I would do is give you some tips from my own experience. But first, I have to be up front. I've never done it. What I have done is been on the receiving end of pitches. Every year at Thriller Fest, which is the conference I go to every year, there are others too, but Thriller Fest is important because it's in New York, and it's all about thrillers. It's the who's who of thrillers. And every year they have, uh, part of Thriller Fest is called Pitch Fest. And that's where you go and you, and, and you get to pitch the books. Well, I have frequently been asked to sit in in something called Practice Pitch Fest, which is an opportunity for the authors the day before they actually go and, and pitch their stuff to uh, agents to sit down and kind of practice their approach. <clears throat> Excuse me. So a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First of all, time is limited. You've only got a couple of minutes, maybe three, four, five minutes, it depends on how the conference is structured, to get your idea out there. So don't waste time. When an agent says to you, tell me about yourself and your book, they don't really want to hear that you come from Ottumwa, Iowa, and you've got six kids, and that, that's, that's not relevant. What they're really looking for is tell me about your book, and in the process, and you know, and who you are, obviously, but in the process, prove to me that you'll be easy to work with, that you're not a prima donna, that you're, you know, it's, it's, that you're not a jerk. Okay, so get right to what the story is going uh, to be about. I think that if you're intending to write a series, Concentrate on the character. You know, who is your character? Mine is Jonathan Grave. He's a freelance hostage rescue specialist. He's the guy you want to call when you just want your loved one taken uh, from, from the bad guys. You don't really care what happens to the bad guys. And sometimes the government uses him to do things that governments can't do. That's the pitch. That's, that's what Jonathan Grave is. Allow opportunity for the agent to ask you questions. Now, if you're writing about, if it's a first book in a series, obviously you're going to have to talk something about the story. Or if you're just, um, if, if you're pitching a single book, concentrate on the conflict. Don't fall down the rabbit hole of this happens and then this happens and then this happens and then in the third act this happens. No, you, people are going to glaze over. Talk to me about what the conflict is. Is. In Nathan's run, a 12-year-old boy kills a juvenile detention center guard and runs away and becomes the focus of a national media campaign that has everything wrong. That would be the pitch for Nathan's run in terms of what the, what the book is about. Now, I'm not suggesting that you give a five-second pitch and walk away, but don't bury the lead. Get the important stuff out there early and then develop it from there. And folks, practice this. This is... this. Come off as natural, but you also, you, you can't wing this. You really need to know what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. Now, finally, uh, or almost finally, let's talk about the logistics of these things. Imagine a bullpen full of agents, and you'll know who they are ahead of time. You need to know up front who you want to target and get in line early, particularly if you're going to pitch fest, which, I mean, the line goes way down the hallway. So you want to get there early and know who you want to go to first and get in their line. And remember, if they say it's only four minutes or whatever is the time frame, I don't know. It says a few minutes on the website uh, for, for Thriller Fest. Um, when that time is over, you got to go because there are other people behind you in line that, that want to talk to that same agent. And finally, keep your eye on the prize. Nobody's going to buy your book from a pitch. First of all, you're pitching agents. So of course they're not going to buy the book. But a home run in this circumstance, or the, you know, the, the, the tiebreaker at the buzzer score, the big deal at the end of one of these pitches is for the agent to say, send me the first three chapters, or send me the manuscript, or send me something. Because you know what that does? That allows you, in transmitting your manuscript to the agent, to put up on the top in the email, you requested this, or by request. So it takes you to the top takes you out of the sludge, pi sludge pile and puts you into the, the stack of stuff that's going to be evaluated. From there, you're on your own. You know, it'll, it'll work or it won't. You'll find the right agent or you won't. And uh, hopefully, you get lots of requests. 
So that's my take on pitching. And again, take it for what it's worth. It's not something I've ever done, thank God, because I don't really think I'd be very good at it. So uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, there'll be a, a thing up here in, in a second to do it. And uh, meanwhile, you take care and please keep reading. I'm John Gilstrap.